Hi, George here. Sometimes when I'm working on a project, I'll come across an image that I really want to use, like this one here, but it's in too low of a resolution. This one's really small. It's only about 150 pixels wide. And as you can see, very pixelated in there. And I really need to get this at a higher resolution. Now, there are some ways of improving this, and I've made a video about that. I'll put a link for that in the description. But I just found an online way of fixing this using artificial intelligence, and it will take your image from this up to that. And this is a 640 wide image, so very usable for my project. Let me show you where I found this and how it works. Okay, here we are on the site. At the moment, this is working for free, although it could have a price attached to it in the future. I don't know anything about that. I'll put the link up here in the description so you can go ahead and give this thing a try. There's not a lot of options on this. You can come down here and change from super resolution, large, medium, denoising, grayscale color, and JPEG compression artifact reduction. We'll be using this one right here, the real world image super resolution large. You can come here and adjust the noise reduction here. There are three settings. I'll just leave this at the default. Same thing for the JPEG artifacts. Leave this at that default number. And then all you have to do is just to click in here and find your image or drag and drop your image right here or take a photo with your webcam if you're working with a webcam. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to drag and drop into here. Here's my image. I'll just drag it over here and drop it into that field right there. There we go. That's all set to go. And then scroll down a little bit here and click on submit and let this thing run through. And it runs fairly fast. I found some of these are kind of slow. As you can see, that one is done already. And there it is. So actually very fast on this. I didn't do any speed up of the video at all. That was it. Let's now download this and we'll take it over into Photoshop Elements and take a look and see how this did. Click on download it and take it into the actual image. Right click and choose image, save as. And I'll put it in the same location. Notice how it came down as a PNG file. I'm just gonna call this one up res and save. Okay, that's done. Let's now switch over and compare this to the original over in Photoshop Elements. There's the original. Here's the up-res version. I'll just drag it into Photoshop Elements just like that. And there we go. Let's see how we did. I think that looks pretty good. Let me just float this one out here. There we go. I'll put it side by side. That's a bit better. And there you go. That fast, that easy, and it did a real nice job in here. Now I could still make it a bit better. I could work on the eyes, make those a bit more realistic. I could possibly sharpen it up a little bit in here, get the hair sharper. Let's go ahead. We'll just give that a try. Go up to enhance and let's come down to adjust sharpness. And I think a little bit of sharpness wouldn't hurt in here someplace like that. Possibly I'll use a mask to soften up the skin and have the hair sharper. But there we go. I think that looks just phenomenal compared to the original over here, real low resolution version. And then this is a real nice full resolution version over here, right hand side. So there you go. There's a great way to increase the resolution of an image very fast and very easy. You can bring the site back up again. And it's right here. And again, at the moment, this is free. I don't guarantee it'll be free forever, but right now it is free. Well worth giving it a shot. Okay. If you like the video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe to click my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. The link for that is in the description, and I'll see you next time.